All right, welcome. This is a Multiman Publishing Standard Combat Series, North Africa. We're playing the two-turn Operation Crusader scenario, uh, and we are actually in the second turn, and the German reaction to the British uh, full activation uh, that had just preceded this, and you saw that in the previous recording. Uh, situation is as follows. Uh, uh, Rommel and a good chunk of, um, let's see, what was this? Good chunk of 15 Panzer is holed up in Bardia. Uh, the British have occupied the forts here and sealed them in. Why am I doing this? Well, if we're playing just the scenario, uh, victory conditions down here, if you can read them, but British should have an immediate win if they can break the siege and trace the supply line all the way back to... Uh, here, Mersa Matru, which is going to be hard to do with uh, these units camping in Sid Barani, if you remember last turn. Each side cut each other's supplies off. Uh, the Axis are still doing it to the CW, the Commonwealth, but um, not anymore here for the, uh, the British doing it to the Axis. These units surrendered in Derna, but... There was a wave of surrenders at the end of last turn, and that's why the siege kind of fell apart. Um, but these units, the problem now is from the uh, scenario of victory conditions, um, whoever, if the Germans hold Bardia at the end, they win. If the British can kick them out of Bardia, it's a stalemate because the way for the British to win is they have to reestablish the supply line to Tobruk. And I don't really see that happening by the end of this scenario. Um, this interesting twist here, if I was playing the full campaign game, I'd probably have a different strategy. I wouldn't be thinking everything's all about Bardia. I'd have to be thinking the long term. I mean, both sides have had a lot of losses. But what's my supply situation? Um, the German supply situation... Even though they cleared out the armored cars, they don't really have supply coming out of here now to help their units here. So in the long term, there'd be questions asked about, um, yeah, if these units were here, I would just pull everybody back here and try and take Tobruk now that it's exposed. Um, which wouldn't win the game for the scenario for the Germans, but in the sense... From a campaign point of view, this would be the correct move. But even that's tough because obviously um, 15th Panzer is trapped in Bardia. So with that said, it's the German uh, German reaction movement, and there's the special rules here. Rommel wasn't expecting a surprise, so the CW gets always gets initiative, and the first activation for Germans has to be a reaction move, where they pick a unit, and all units within 10 hexes can move, and that's it. Rommel can overrun, but uh, Rommel's trapped here. I'm going to leave him here because he gives the odds shift. And these two units are in fortresses, and they can't be overrun. So basically, I pick a units, and everybody within 10 can move. And then really, the units I want to move are right here. These outliers, if I try and set up to grab them and move them, then I can't move these units. So uh, you know, looking at this, I said, this is the guy... And in theory, he could reach this guy, but he can't reach this guy. So it truly is um, all these units here. So kind of a dual strategy. Uh, Want to be set up to retake Bardia or rescue Rommel, depending on what happens during the British term. So we're going to have to concentrate forces here. But um, by the same token, maybe want to screen out the Brits here and... This fort, I'd uh, be loved, just park somebody in there to cause them a headache, too, because that cuts their supply. So I think that's what we're going to see here. Again, if I was playing the full campaign game, my strategy may be different. But uh, from the scenario point of view, uh, it's pretty much all about Bardia. If the Germans hold it, they win. If the Brits take it back, it is a stalemate, because I don't think they can... They, their problem is they really can't do anything about these units in Sid Barani. They don't have anybody in a position really to do anything about that right now. So that's the situation and the plan. I'm going to pause it here. We'll come back and we'll see the actual move.
Okay, that was quick. We're back. Um, and here is the move, doing that dual strategy here. Uh, Art Africa, I guess that's a company, Expeditionary Recon, probably Armored Cars, did have the movement factors to park itself in this fortress here. So that effectively cuts British supplies out of Tobruk, and theoretically, from zones of control point of view, reestablishes the siege. Um, these units were disorganized by the Brits, so they're not very useful in a counterattack. These won't be removed until the end of the German full activation. So instead, we're going to park them here, and that does interdict this road even further, slowing down these guys if they're coming back here to clear this and forcing the Brits to put a unit there. Um, also pulled out this uh, small anti-tank, it looks like battalion, from Arty to kind of cover the, um, whatever we call it here, through here for the escarpment. Uh, so these guys don't get the urge maybe to come through here and come from behind here. Not that they're going to do that, because it's going to be pretty much all hands on deck to retake Bardia, so these guys are, but once again... Don't want to give them freedom of movement, so we're going to block that right there. And then the remaining German units um, that do have some oomph are going to stack up, well, line up here to be available, depending on what happens during the British turn, to react to it. And notice I didn't, pur I purposely didn't stack them because I didn't want a lucky barrage die roll or airstrike die roll taking all three out, which is conceivable. Um, it's conceivable. We'll see. British rolled atrociously with their artillery and airstrikes on Bardia during their activation, but they're going to get another shot at it. So, um, actually, it could go either way. And it does look like potentially surrender rolls at the end of everybody's activations this turn, so that may change the complexion, too. So, again, game's up in the air. It's either between a stalemate or a German win. And uh, interesting discussion. If I was playing the campaign game, would I play this differently? That's something to think about, too. But we'll find out in the next recording when the Commonwealth takes their shot at retaking Bardia and potentially dealing with this, uh, again, problem with supply lines being cut. So thanks for listening, and we will see you at the next recording.